Welcome back to Summit Sunrise, your Monday edition and kicking things off with Scott from Cami's over in Frisco. And uh, Scott, tell me a little bit about yourself and about the business and who might be running it. Okay. Well, we've been in Summit County for going on about 12 years. Uh, we love Summit County. Um, I grew up in Alaska and so uh, my wife grew up in Pennsylvania. And so one of the things that when we got married, we wanted to get back to the mountains. And uh, I said, let's go to Alaska. She said, not a chance. So, <laughs> so we ended up in Summit County. We love, we love skiing, hiking, fishing. We love being outdoors. And we love the people of Summit County. And so it's uh, be kind of become our home. And um, this is where we want to grow old and retire. And so that's a little bit about us. And we have four kids. Oh my I gosh. have all C's. I have Creed, Caroline, uh, Cord, and Cammy. Oh, my gosh. And Cammy is the namesake of Cammy's. So, oh, how cool. Yeah. So, so it's actually named after someone in your family. So tell us a little bit about, about Cami's and, uh, and you can see, you know, from some of the pictures here on the website, it's a frozen yogurt shop. If you haven't uh, passed by it, you're driving right through Frisco, you can't miss it. But tell me a little bit about your yogurt. Well, our yogurt is, uh, is really unique. We're one of the only ones that carry this type of yogurt. Uh, most places that you go into yogurt shops, it's a... Uh, it's a milk-based product. It's a butterfat-based product, and so it's uh, it's very good typically. Mm -hmm. But it's got a lot of calories and a, and a lot of uh, milk and those things. And ours is a water-based pro product. Mm. Therefore, lactose intolerance can eat our product, which is really cool because we have a lot of people that come in and go, "Oh my God, you, I, I've not been able to have ice cream for years. You mean I can eat this?" And they're so excited. That's so cool. Yeah, and then we have, and then it's also because of that, the sugar content is fructose. It's not high fructose, it's fructose. So therefore, uh, the, ca the sugar content is really low, so diabetics can eat our product. Wow. So it's a very safe product for people that uh, uh, can't have milk, mm -hmm. that are diabetics. And it's also very good. What's amazing about it is uh, because it's a water-based product, it's only eight calories per ounce. What? So if you get a, see, it, you get an eight ounce yogurt in our shop, that's 64 calories. No way. That same eight, eight ounce yogurt anywhere else or ice cream, that's about 350 calories for that same eight ounces. Oh my gosh. So it's a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty cool product. That's amazing. And some people ask, is it really yogurt? And it is, it's got all the live cultures in it. It's really good, it's very healthy. So we can say about our product that it's not just good, it's actually good for you. Wow, that and is crazy, so, that is crazy. Yeah. Now obviously, um, you know, this time of year with it being super hot outside, this is like the perfect treat. But what about for some of those, you know, thunderstormy kind of days, they're a little bit on the chillier side. Do you right. have anything to warm us up to? Right, you know, Recently, we've had a lot of those days, which has been good because right. we certainly have needed them. And uh, but the uh, we do have the coffee bar, the espresso bar. And if you've not been mm -hmm. in and seen our espresso bar, it's a full espresso bar. Um, all of our shots are handmade by our baristas, and they're very good at what they do. We make a very good coffee, and then we get our coffee from Elevation Coffee. And what's again, it's something unique that we really wanted to do because of being local. We really want to take care of our locals. We want to make sure that uh, people come in and they have a good time and they get a good product at a really good price. And so um, one of the things that people, uh, we heard people complain about and I complain about is that sometimes you get coffee and you get that burnt taste with it. Mm. And we use Elevation Roasters out of Denver. And uh, one of the things that they do is they have an extractor on their roaster. And so what happens is, is that when those uh, skins on those beans flash and they burn, most roasters will just turn that smoke right into their beans. And so you get a very inconsistent cup. Elevation extracts that smoke off the top so you never get that burnt taste. You get a very consistent cup of coffee. Our espresso drinks are amazing. And we have tried to make sure that we are less expensive than anywhere in Summit County because we're really about the locals. We, we didn't, you know, a lot of places up here are designed for uh, tourists. You know, they make their living on the tourists. They're hoping the tourists, although we love the tourists and we hope that they make it to our shop. And if they do, good for them. But we're about the locals. And so we want our prices to be really low. You don't have to come in for ask for a 10% off discount. You're going to get a low price every time you come in and you're going to get the best cup of coffee in Summit County. Now, when I think about coffee, I also think about breakfast, Scott. So do you guys have anything for breakfast or is it just yogurt? It, we have a great breakfast. Um, all along we've done an oatmeal bar, which is really cool because you can come in, we're a self-serve yogurt shop. So you can come in and <clears throat> you get your yogurt 
and you and you put toppings on it and things like that. So we carried that concept over into yogurt into uh, oatmeal. So you can come over, you can come and get a, a very large bowl of oatmeal for like two dollars and seventy cents. You get that, and you can put all the toppings you want on it at no extra charge. And so that strawberries and blueberries and mm. brown sugar and all that, and you can get that on your oatmeal. So you can sit down and have a hot oatmeal. But we've also recently introduced breakfast burritos. Yeah. Summit Eatery, uh, Joe DeMonte, a good friend of ours and neighbor. Um, they he makes our breakfast burritos for us every morning, fresh and they're hot. And they are out of this world. They're oh, really yeah. fantastic. They're chorizo burritos. Yum. And they are really good. They're oh, my really gosh. Good. That sounds so good. So yeah. really, when it comes down to it, you're going to find affordable, really healthy snacks and some very premium coffee and oatmeal and breakfast burritos. So you're, you're more than just, than just a yogurt shop. Right. We really are. We want to be more than just a yogurt shop in the sense that uh, – the high school students, one of the things that we, op when we opened, uh, because I coach at the high school and because I'm very active in the community, all the high school kids know us and they come down and they, uh, they'll stay for long periods of time. In fact, we've gotten phone calls from parents that have said, thank you for opening this up. The kids just hang out there. They can draw on our tables. Um, the little swirl that we have uh, on our stuff is, my wife kind of designed that as, uh, as a dialogue box. We want people to come and sit and stay and enjoy, stay a while with your family. Uh, we have uh, put a, recently put a patio outside. Mm -hmm. We call it our patio, <laughs> uh, not a patio, it's our patio. <laughs> but people can go out and sit and see the mountains. They also, when we design the shop, a lot of yogurt shops, you come in and you stand in line, you get your yogurt, then it takes you past the toppings, then it takes you past the POS. And it's designed to get you through and out the front door. When you come into our shop, um, our yogurt machines are at the back. And so you can go, instead of walking in a line, though, you go up to them and you can get your samples and step back. And then our, our uh, toppings tables are round. So you can come up to them from any direction. And so you're not standing in lines because I, I just hate lines. <laughs> lines drive me crazy. I don't know that anybody really, really <laughs> enjoys them. They so. say you spend about three years of your life standing in lines. Ew. That's awful. Not a cami. <laughs> so not a cami. Not a cami. So we're against lines. So you come in, you can get your yogurt, you can sit. We have free Wi-Fi. You can sit. We have a lot of people who come in and get their coffee, get their yogurt, sit, do their thing. We've got a fireplace. Uh, it's imitation, but uh, gotcha. it's it's really cool. Wow! So if you haven't been in before, stop on into Cami's right now, right on the right on the main drag, right through Frisco. So easy to find. And what are your typical hours, Scott? Our hours we're open every day from seven to ten, seven days a week. Perfect. So you come in, get breakfast, get your yogurt all evening long. Come and hang out. Have a great afternoon. Day at well, thank you so much for coming on this morning and telling us all about it. Really interesting to know how much you guys have. Just not yeah. not your typical yogurt shop. We don't want to be a typical yogurt shop. We well, want to be different. <laughs> I, I think you definitely are, Scott. I think that has definitely been accomplished. We're going to take a quick break here on Summit Sunrise, but we'll be back with more, so don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm.